Hey guys, I'm Darcy from Z Digitizing. In this video, I will show you how to change the font style in Wilcom. So let's get started. Before we continue, guys, please make sure to subscribe to this channel for any upcoming videos. Changing the style of your existing font is not a difficult thing at all. You just have to get yourself familiarized with the interface. There are a lot of options and features in Wilcom that provide us with proper assistance, and these things are only difficult until we learn them. Let us guide you through step by step. Open your Wilcom application and click on File. From the drop down menu, select Open Design. You can also use a shortcut key, which is Control plus O. A dialog box will open up. Browse your required design file whose font style you have to change and click on Open. After clicking on the Open, it should load your file into Wilcom's interface. Now comes the important part. Make sure on the right side of the window you have your Object Properties panel open. If it is not open already, then select your design, right click on it, and select Object Properties. After enabling the Object Properties panel, make sure to select the Special tab under Object Properties. Click on the Preview checkbox. Before you apply any font style to your design file, make sure you have selected your design by clicking on it. Right above the Preview checkbox, you will see a drop-down menu list. Click on it. A number of several font styles will appear. Select your favorite font and click on the Check button to apply the effect. Always remember your required font style by its name so it will be easy for you to browse through several font styles. You can even set the spacing of the font letters by scrolling down. You will see the spacing portion. Insert your required spacing to determine the level of spacing from one letter to another. Similarly, word spacing would determine the spacing between words and the line spacing option is intended to add space between lines. After applying the font style and required spacing, make sure to save the file. Click on File and select Save. If you do not want to overwrite your existing file, then make sure to select Save As. Name your file and save it on your drive. And that is about it. You have successfully changed the font style of your design. If you need any logo file, just head over to Z Digitizing. Hope it will be helpful for you guys. If there's any question related to this video, you can simply ask in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And finally, thanks for watching.